Hi everyone, we're going to find the limit uh, as x approaches 0 of cotan of x divided by x minus 1 divided by x squared. Uh, before we start, I'm going to rewrite this cotan of x as uh, 1 divided by tan of x. So we're going to write this as the limit as x approaches 0. And this will be 1 divided by x tan of x. And then we have this minus 1 divided by x squared. And next thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, get our common denominator. Now if you do your least common denominator, it's just going to be x squared times tan of x. I'm not going to do the least common denominator. I'm just going to multiply these two. Um, and so my common denominator is going to be cubed. I'm just going to multiply these two. So you get x cubed times uh, tan of x. All right, and then you can just cross those up here to simplify your numerators. You get x squared minus uh, x tan of x. And for our numerator, I can factor out an x. So that would be x and uh, times uh, x minus tan of x. I'll divide it by x cubed tan of x. All right, and the next step I'm going to do is split this up. I'm going to uh, put these together because I know that x divided by tan of x when you take the limit as uh, x approaches 0 equals 1. So I'm going to write this as, the, I'm going to squeeze it over here, the limit as x approaches 0 of x minus tan of x divided by x cubed times, and I'll just put it down here, the limit as x approaches 0 of x divided by tan of x. So basically this just equals 1, and now we're left with this. All right. So let's do that one. Uh, we're going to have um, the limit as x approaches 0 of x minus tan of x divided by x cubed. Now this has the form 0 divided by 0, so I can use L'Hopital's rule here. And um, so I'm going to put h here. So the limit as h approaches 0, this is going to give you 1 minus secant squared of x divided by uh, 3x squared. Now, um, when you take this limit here, the limit as x approaches 0 of secant squared of x just equals 1. So basically you're going to have 1 minus 1 is 0 and your denominator is also going to be 0. So we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule again. So this will turn to 0. So you're going to have negative 2 secant squared of x times tan of x. And the denominator is just going to be uh, 6x. All right, so what we can do is pull out this in front. That's going to be negative one-third. That's going to give me uh, equals negative one-third as your constant times the limit as x approaches uh, zero. And I'm just going to write secant of x or secant squared of x. All right. And then we're going to, let's scoot this over just a bit. Sorry, I'm going to scoot it over. So we have um, equals negative one-third and then we're going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of secant squared of x. And then we're going to also multiply this by the limit as x approaches 0. And I'm pulling out this tan of x divided by x. Again, this equals 1. So we just have 1 here. All right, also we already know that sec the limit is uh, x approaches 0 of secant squared of x is 1. 
So now we can evaluate and we're going to get negative one third times one times one and that equals negative one third. So that's your limit. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.